Again, this is this is an athletic training and conditioning facility. So when you come in here, the joke is people say, and they've asked me, do you have a beginner's program? And I tell them, absolutely. When you walk in the door and begin, that's the program. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Well, I can tell you that they call me the band master for a couple of reasons. One being, I tell people all the time, band resistance training isn't new. And it's not like I've mastered anything either. So the combination of band and master. But the reality of it is, is that what I do with the bands is significantly, the word I constantly use, different from anything anybody has seen. And that's both here and even when I've been uh, traveling internationally. And so people feel you always lead from the front. And I guess he's the leader in the forefront but when it comes to utilizing bands for training. Several reasons. First of all, you know, I've had a client, I, I had a family member, because, and I was going to say client, but we don't have clients here. We have family members. And uh, she suffered a, a full blown torn Achilles. Walking on a boot in eight months, eight weeks, excuse me. And within maybe the first 10 to 12 weeks, she was almost back to full activity. That's not heard of. Ask my youngest brother, ask Colby. But the reality of it is, is that you go to any type of uh, orthopedic therapeutic uh, environment and what are they utilizing? Bands. Strengthening tendon and ligaments, less pressure on the joints, better blood circulation, a different effect neurologically. And that's where most of the things happen when you talk about training and conditioning, no matter what you're utilizing, whether it's weight, bands, uh, plyo boxes, and all the other things that we use, kettlebells, whatever else we use in the fitness industry. Well, I think one of the first things is that most of them are not used to it. Most of them use bands, but again, I go back to what I was saying. Most of them do not utilize bands in the same manner that I do. I can take bands and incorporate it into any type of workout, whether it's utilizing it with free weights in the gym, whether it's cardio equipment, whether it's loose dumbbells. And again, one of the things is that they're, they're not familiar with utilizing band resistance. I've had athletes, boxers, basketball players who have said, oh yeah, you know, my trainer or former trainer, or oh, I've utilized bands. When they go through a session, most of them, if not all of them, will tell you, not, not, like, not that. like that. So it makes them effective from a lot of different areas. The agility, flexibility, mobility, all those different things are very, very important. I'd say several hundred. I've had several thousand people come through the door either by consultation or training. 85% success rate is which what makes transform transform. It's people, process, product. And there's two things that'll make you successful in the industry of fitness. One, having a product. Number two, you gather and gain the trust of people, which you know culminates into loyalty. And that's why in four and a half years, I've, I'd say about 80% of my clients have been the same clients I've had the whole time but their lives have been changed. Sustainability is key. They've lost weight in the beginning. They're still not only have kept the weight off, but they're still losing weight. So it's a perpetual process, but at the same time, and I'd be careful to say how people gauge and measure success. I'm not where I'm going to be. You know, my measurements are not off, I'm just not there yet. One, I'll start with, it's all about the initial consultation, the initial in, uh, interaction with the person. Because more than just uh, pounds and inches, I'm about mind and spirit. You can lose 20 pounds and still be the same broken person, which makes it cyclical. And you've seen the people yo-yo and go up and down, and then they resort to things that are surgical and synthetic. But what makes Transform, again, different, we don't have clients, we have family, but at the same time, the power of the mind. Once you capture, capture someone's mind, 90% of a, this process is it's psychological. The rest of it, they'll run through a wall for you. That's from, at being a former Marine. I was in basic training, the drill instructor was 36 years ago, said I will remember uh, basic training Paris Island like it was yesterday. That's because in basic training, it's more than the physical, more than the pull-ups, more than climbing the rope, 
more than Elias Beach, it's about the transformation of the mind, even as the word speaks it.